Hi, Taurus. How are you? This is Mistress of Manifestations. and Welcome to your reading. This is a general reading for the 1st to the 15th of December. I can't believe it's December, right? Just like that, this year is coming to a close, correct? So how is everyone doing today? This is a general reading, so not all the messages are going to resonate with you. But I know there is something here exactly for you. And if this message resonates with you, claim it. Also, if you feel that this message confuses you but fits exactly for the person you're thinking about when this reading, when you're watching this reading, claim it too. I want you to check your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Why? Because sometimes you're not in your sun sign, Taurus. Uh, and, you know, you are in your moon sign. Check all those readings out because, you know, suddenly you'll get added information about what you're going through. Go to Google, put in your details, calculate your birth chart, find out where your rising is, your moon, your Venus is. And then check out all those signs too for added knowledge, all right? So um, what else do I want to say? It's important that you know your, very important that you know your placement stars. And I'm telling you, I know you're thinking, okay, why does she keep saying that? Because trust me, your own chart is like your blueprint, you know, the blueprint of your action, of why you've come here as in on this dimension. It's also very personal and private because it's like, it's your personal information. It's your program for your journey on earth. And astrology is the most amazing, beautiful tool to give you insights of what you're going through, perhaps why you're going through, and most importantly, when it's going to shift because energy is not something that stays. It's in constant motion. It's we who go and hold on to it. So it gives you those insights as to when things are going to shift, okay? All right. So let me start with the cards I have here. Hmm. Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Hold on. Start with this card. Mental prison. Cannot sleep, cannot eat, cannot drink, cannot talk, cannot think. Because you have surrounded yourself with thoughts. Thoughts of what? Disaster, doom, gloom, unhappiness. You have made a prison, okay, for yourself with your thoughts about someone or a situation. And you are sitting in that prison tied up. But I want you to know that this is self-created, Taurus. And at any given point, this woman can just break free because your thoughts you know when your thoughts when you when you when you trap yourself with thoughts souls are thoughts your feeling your your thoughts your what you're thinking about all the time it's like a mental stress on steroids where you literally feel every day you wake up and you are in that same loop you keep thinking about what went wrong, what could go wrong, why did it go wrong, who did wrong, what could you have done, what <sighs> even saying it is making me tired. So you have put yourself in some kind of a mental prison. Okay, and you're not happy, but you feel trapped. See, this is an individual who's convinced themselves that they are trapped that they cannot break free from this, but that is not true. That is so not true, Taurus. Because this has been made by you. This for me sometimes is you playing the victim card. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to say this is the message I'm getting. You know, confusion, bound, trapped, stuck, self-made prison. But if you look closely at any given point, all she has to do is whack this open and she's free. Remember that, okay? Now, the next cards I have for you are four of pentacles. The pentacles are money, this earth, this is earth energy. Pentacles are what you've earned, what you've made, uh, you know, things that keep us, what can I say, our root chakra in life, which is our money, our stability. That's what pentacles are. And four is hoarding, being a miser, holding back, not giving. ATM is closed. Bye-bye. I mean, I'm going to read this card two ways. One is either you're holding back on spending money 
or you're holding back and giving money to somebody, or you're holding back, or you're not showing that you, you're hiding money, hoarding money, or this individual's heart is crossed. You are not opening your heart anymore. You're closing your heart. Enough. I'm not going to give any more of my love or my emotions. I know this is not the, uh, what is that word? Classic understanding of this. But every time I see this card and this person, you know, their heart is crossed. I mean, their hands are crossed across, hands are crossed across wall. That's a mouthful, across their heart. It feels like this individual is holding back on giving what is precious. The most precious thing is our love, right? Money too. I mean, I, I'm not going to disrespect money, but yeah, money pays the bills, but it's also love that makes a heart, makes the world go round. So are you holding back on giving your love to someone as well as your money? This is an energy of holding back. Now, the next two cards. Tell me that you could be dealing with the King of Wands, a very, very passionate fire sign. This is Sagittarius, Aries. More saggy, very passionate. I mean, this is somebody with the charisma of a God knows what. Hot passion. <sighs> I mean, look at all the red. I mean, they, they know they are like that. Charming, good, you know, charismatic leader. Could be a politician too, Taurus. Somebody who has, you know, a lot of, uh, can I say their aura is just off the freaking charts married to this individual or you have something stable with them because this is you know four of wands out of being married a card of some kind of stability you are in a relationship or something that is stable with an individual this is you've laid good foundations with this person so if this is a work situation you have been working with this person. You have, you know, what can I say? You've been working for some a few years. You've you've laid good foundations in that company. People know you. You've proved yourself. There is a partnership here. There is stability here. Okay. As you can see, and the rabbits here always are growth, you know, because they multiply the fastest, right? But if this is love, and I think this is love. I think this is love, Taurus. Start a marriage then. You, are you dealing with a king of wands? Somebody who's hot and passionate. This is stability in a home. Or in any, for me, this is always stability or happy events in any stable foundation that you've laid. So if this is a marriage, you're dealing, you're dealing with, a very, very fiery energy, very fiery energy. This is somebody who is very charismatic. But you know, there's also arrogance in this individual. This is the lower vibration of this card, is arrogance, you know. Somebody who's so competent, they, they like to chase and they want what they want. You know, it's that kind of a narcissistic, competent. They know they're good. I mean, you know, that cockiness, that's the word, cockiness. They know they're good. They do not need you to not tell them nothing. They know what they want and they like to chase. And this is very, very hot and fiery. So why are you feeling? So I'm going to ask for some more messages. Why are you feeling stuck? Or what is a mental prison? What has an individual done? Why are you holding back on your money or on your feelings? Or are they doing it? I'm going to ask some more questions, okay? Um, Taurus, are you dealing? I don't know, I'm getting this message. I'm just going to tell you this could be, this is more just channeled. Uh, are you dealing with somebody with whom you want to make a foundation? They promise you that, but they're not giving it to you. I have this feeling that somebody's holding back, you know, on giving you that foundation i mean because this card they have it look this again this i'll give you another message you know this card this individual has the money but they're not giving it and if i read it in terms of love they have the love but they're not giving it to you they're not and they, i think that you want a home 
with them. You want stability, but they're holding back and you're dealing with somebody who is such a competence, you know, speaker, the way they communicate, charismatic. Somebody could be a leader, somebody who's got a good position in society, but they're just holding back. What, oh, your cards just came out. I'm going to just take them, okay? And this energy that I have here is eight or so. You are in a mode of, you don't know what to do. You feel stuck and trapped because I think this person makes you feel like that. They Something tells me, you know, I'll tell you another, what messages I'm getting, yeah, Taurus? You know, this rabbit here I told you is about growth, but I feel they dangle a carrot and you accept it and then they pull back. They give you a little bit, and then they, no more. And you're like, what the hell, man? I want this stability, yeah? I want it, okay? I mean, there's a lot of passion here. I'll give you that, but it's from their side. They are really sexually into you, Taurus. But they do not want to give you more. And this has kept you in this energy. They keep you stuck. They just keep you stuck. And I feel you are, you have willingly put yourself in this prison, self-made. And you're just going around and around in your thoughts. Now, it's getting too heavy for you, man. You're going to drop. You're going to drop this soon. You can't carry it anymore. The Ten of Wands is an individual who is exhausted. I mean, what can I say? You can't carry this. You're overwhelmed. You're exhausted, overburdened. You're doing everything on your own. You, there's nobody helping you here. I think every time you ask this individual for love, money, or time, they hold back and they have it. This is what I hate. This card, you know, this energy where they have it, but they, they don't want to give it to you. Why? And it's hurting you because you, you feel like, you know what? Why are they doing this to me? I want a commitment with them. But they're not. No, this is where you are right now. And I think you have your friends or somebody watching you going through this. I feel this. I mean, I, I just feel that your friends know you're going through this, Taurus. And they're like, you know what? You can't carry this alone anymore. Drop this, man. And you look at this individual. The back is bent out of shape because they're carrying this. And there's a moon here, you know. For me, whenever I see the moon, of course, it's cancer. <clears throat> I see, but it's also secret. Hidden information. And the next card tells me that because it's seven of swords. Somebody very smartly playing you, yeah. Taurus, very smart intelligence. Using their brain. See, if this is the, is the facet of the king of wands, so this is a very fiery, passionate person. They're also very competent, intelligent. If they are using their lower energy or their dark side to fool you, to keep you stuck. You know, sometimes I see this card as these seven swords that they're using to cheat you. And the eighth sword is one of your thoughts. So it's like a combination. And this is what you're going through along with this. Burdened, stressed cannot sleep, cannot have any peace, and they are being passionate. Yeah, I'm sure the passion is great, but they're being sneaky. I have a feeling they have, they have somebody else, or they, you're not the only person. Uh, this is what I feel. When this comes out in a love relationship, in a love reading, somebody's cheating. Somebody's pulling a fast one on you. Somebody's trying to fool you in broad daylight. Okay, under your freaking nose. And they are using their intelligence and their charm and their passion. And they're trying to keep you stuck. Now, I love your next card. My God. And by the way, the only thing you wanted from them is a commitment. You want a commitment from them. You want something stable. You want to build. You want this from them. But every time you come up with that, they give you this. They hold back. They hold back. They have it. They could if they wanted to, but they won't. Now, this is a card of cancer. Again, this is moon rule. Now, 
This for me is a card which is very, very positive here, Taurus, because it's you taking the reins of your life in your hands and moving. Now, this is short distance travel. This is, you know, maybe moving homes, could be buying a car. I know. But in this particular instance, it seems to me that you are choosing to move away from conflict, move away from a sneak, move away from someone with whom you're not happy because every time you wanted this from them, stability, they held back. And you have done, you are, you know, I, I, this eight of swords, which is you being stuck and feeling trapped, you're breaking free from this. And you're taking charge of your life, your feelings, your dark and your light, which means there are two, two sphinxes here, right? One is silver, one is gold. It's taking charge of what you're scared of because this person is very narcissistic. You know, they're very intelligent. They've been using their charm and their charisma to keep you stuck, to make you feel like, look, if you leave me, it's, you know, the end of the world. You can never do that. But at the same time, they're giving you nada, zero. You've decided to say, you know what? No. No. Bye-bye, Taurus. And you're leaving. You are moving away from this energy now. Guess what you're moving towards, man? Not a pentacles. The ace of pentacles. Look, there's a little fox here. You are using your intelligence. Look. This person here has been using their intelligence to fool you, okay? They've been using their intelligence to play mind games. This was a sneak fest. They did many things behind your back. They betrayed your trust and your confidence many times, and they knew what they were doing. You know, I'll give you another message I'm getting. Even here, they know they have it. They don't want to give it to you. Here, they know they're fooling you, but they're doing it. They have the money and they have the patience. They have the time. They have the love. They do want to give it to you. So both these energies here for this individual are, I have it. I'm not giving it to you. I have it, though. It's not for you. This is what they made you feel. And this mental prison that you put yourself in, you're finally breaking and running as fast as you can with this chariot. And what is coming to you? Ace of Pentacles. And this for me is money. It's abundance coming in. Sometimes when you're stuck with the wrong person, and it happens, we all go through it. Money, you know, something gets blocked in your life. I need you to understand something, Taurus. When you meet somebody and you start dating them, you know, months go, notice what happens in your energetic field, whether it's your money, your health, your relationships. Do they get better or do they get worse? If there is something that happens which is very bad, like, you know, big losses of money, there's something wrong. Who have you invited in your immediate energy? They are adding to whatever happens in your life, good, bad, or ugly. Now, with you moving away from this energy of pure, this is a narcissist. You're moving away from this. This individual has just shown you their lower vibrations, which is, you know, being, uh, uh, what's that word? Overconfident. Somebody who loves to chase, somebody who likes to be chased, somebody who's better than everybody else. To what can I say? You know, some people are so proud of what they are and what they've made of themselves that their whole persona, nobody wants to know what they've done anymore because the way they're talking and the way they're dealing with you is pathetic. And this individual is like that. And you have chosen to move away and you're bringing this individual in. This is a Knight of Pentacles. Are the Knight of Pentacles? is a slow moving night, okay? This is somebody who is, is no, there's no rushing energy here. They're not just coming in for the sex and, you know, bouncing. They are here for the long haul. And that's what you wanted because with this individual too, one thing that you wanted was stability and the ability to have something long-term and they never gave you that. Now you moving away from that energy is making space for him. Slow, 
consistent person who is very slow and measured. Now, they, I have a feeling they've been watching you go through this. This could be somebody you know, yeah. I don't know, I'm getting this message, Doris. Could be for a few of you. Somehow these two individuals watching this person suffer. Somebody has been watching you and this is an earth energy. Somebody who is, you know, who's been taking their time to come in towards you, but when they come in, they come in with a proper offer. And if this is their offer, damn it, take it, grab it and run, please. They come in with a solid offer, an offer that has the potential to grow exactly like this, the Ace of Pentacles. I think this could happen for you with this individual, Taurus, because once you drop this burden, take your chariot and get out of a relationship which was with a fire sign. You have been with a fire sign who's really, really played hella mind games with you, man. Or they've also cheated on you. They've been holding back, holding back. And they put you in this. And all you wanted from them was a commitment. And you kept carrying this burden of this relationship, of your feelings, of, you know, wanting to build something with them for a long time, but they never bothered to give it to you. And you have decided to drop this. Bye-bye. Get on your chariot. And this brings in... This individual who's been watching you, I have a feeling, Taurus, they know what you're going through. They know it. And they have been waiting to come up with an offer. They've really thought this through. This is somebody who's slow. But when they come in, they come in with a solid offer. That you can touch, bite, eat, you know. It really exists. You can see it with your eyes. And that is going to be this, which you wanted with the other person. I think there is some earth sign that is watching you. Somebody. And they're going to come in. And this is going to be your happily ever after. I have a strong feeling about that now. Because you have the courage to drop what wasn't suiting you. And to understand what you needed in a relationship. I mean, come on now. Nobody can just continue in, you know, uh, any relationship where you're constantly made to feel lesser than or, you know, People are holding back enough. So I'm going to take some Keepers of the Light Oracle card for us to see if I can give you any extra messages for my talk. One more, please. All right. Okay. Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high and expect the best possible outcome. This is you setting clear intentions. I think you did that with this fire sign too, but they refused to give it to you. Your intentions were clear. You wanted a commitment. You wanted stability, but they never, ever gave it to you. All they did was... Pull back. Now, when you walk away, remember to set good intentions again. And I, I think you, your intentions are on point, Taurus, because you are bringing in somebody who wants stability, okay? The Miriam, sacred vision. Beautiful card. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all and remember that love has no boundaries. Wow. My goodness. This is asking you to forgive somebody who held back and it's all right. So I think that's the best thing you could do because, you know, sometimes forgiving somebody who's such a narcissist um, and the seven of swords in this together for this person's energy, somebody who... It's better that you just forgive and, you know, remove them from your energetic field. I agree with that. Bridget, inner strength. 
move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. I think this individual made you feel helpless, made you feel powerless, made you feel burdened, made you feel trapped. Take your power back, Taurus. Take your power back and you are, you are your inner strength. You are calmly handling a very difficult situation and a very difficult person. And you are moving away from conflict. Now, I'm also going to take, I'll take some Archangel Oracle cards to see that any messages from the Archangels of Horus. Crystal clear intentions. Again, the intentions. I think this whole reading is telling you that your intentions are on point, okay? You always intended to have stability <clears throat> and something long-term with this individual. They didn't. Crystal clear intention, Archangel Michael. Hi, Archangel Michael. Be clear about what you want, what you desire, and focus upon it with unwavering faith. I love it. Fantastic. Gentleness. Archangel Sandal Pond, be very gentle with yourself at this time, Taurus. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. I think for a long time, you have been carrying the weight of the relationship and you have been begging for, you know, stability or whatever from an individual who was just holding back, man. Be gentle with yourself because you are hurting. But remember, your angels are with you. Overcoming difficulties. <sighs> this is Archangel Jeremiah. The worst is now behind you. Yay! You are sur surmounting any previous challenges. You know, this is the chariot for me. Moving away from anything that was difficult. Like I said, a difficult person or a difficult situation. You're moving away. The worst is behind you. And if you notice, there's silver and gold in this, in this card too, just like this. You are taking the reins of your life and moving forward to your glorious, fantastic, happy, stable future, Taurus. So, my darlings, I hope you, I hope you've liked your reading. I'm sure it made sense. And whenever you come across this reading, is the right time for you, Taurus. So give me a thumbs up. Join my channel. Subscribe. And I cannot wait to sit down again and do another video for you. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye. And I love you. Talk to you soon, Taurus. Namaste. Bye.